Good morning and welcome. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. It's the 30th day of May, which means it's Memorial Day. So thank you to all the men and women and animals of the armed services. Thank you very much for your service. And speaking of service, it's time to take a look at all the freebies, bundles, and collections that are out this week. Uh, so we've got some freebies, we've got some bundles, we've got some sales. In general, these are usually PDFs, so don't get too excited. Though there is a huge D&D sale over a drive through for a bunch of PDFs, and I think some of the uh, print-on-demand prices have been lowered as well. Okay, so freebies this week. Modifius has released a new entry to the Star Trek Adventures brief titled Psychic Incursions. This is a series of short missions that deal with the possibilities of psychics in the Star Trek universe. Um, are there psychics in this? Star oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Diana Troy was psychic. Okay. Um, Philip, Re Philip Reed has released a... Uh, offshoot for his Morkborg cyberpunk game cyborg it's called hst3.33 which is a pdf and soundtrack um about uh, cyberpunk stuff so it's a cyberpunk adventure using Morkborg rules and it also has a soundtrack that comes with it that when you download it um as usual, these things are usually both on the site of the individual creator, like the Modifius stuff would be over on Mophidius' Mofi site. But you could also I usually find them in the free section of drive through uh, We have another one from Mork Borg. We have, it's called The First Do No Harm. It's a four, it's a 25-room adventure for Mork Borg. Uh, we have a quick prep random dungeon chart called 100 and cyber city locations it's 100 entries for cyberpunk type stuff so if you're looking for a way to generate a cyber city encounters and locations this one's free over on terry hex site and also usually on drive through over in dn's guild we have something to do with anamorphic dogs it's called lupus which is a race of anamorphic dogs for i guess dnd &D. Moving on to bundles. As mentioned before, Drive Through has over 16,000 different D&D titles marked down. Most of these are TSR, a lot of them are Wizards of the Coast, and there's some fan-made stuff in there as well. So at uh I think the current count is over 16,000. Prices vary, but they've all been lowered at least somewhere to 90% off. So if you're looking for that obscure Dungeons & Dragons PDF that maybe you missed out on, head on over to Drive Through because today is the last day, and check it out. Um, over in D's, D... Wow, my brain is not working today. I am sorry. Jeez, this old age sucks, guys. Over at DM's Guild, we have something called Burt's Corner of Gadgets. It's a book filled with gadgets for your 5e game. The first part of the book is Potions. The second part of the book is useless magic items. That could be my favorite. And the third part is uh, spells and some other stuff. So, yeah, Bird's Corner of Gadgets. Got magic items, spells, and other things, all of which Bert himself claims might not be that useful. <laughs> there is something called... I had to go because, which provides a pr collection of random tables to explain what happens to people's characters when their players do not make the game. So I guess if you're running a game, and then the next game, somebody says, oh, I can't make it because it's my daughter's birthday, instead of just saying, oh, don't worry about it, now this guy's got a table that says, oh, these are the things that happened to you while they were out adventuring and you stayed behind. Oh! Random table, 36. You got eaten by a wolf. What? Anyways, this is a sale. I don't know if it really counts as a bundle, but it's out there. It's five bucks, and I guess it's over on DM's Guild. Over on drive through we've got another one. We've got a huge collection of essential and basic solo RPG tools uh, with over 160 tools to help expand your solo gaming experience for 
Moving on to charity bundles. Obviously, the two big ones going around are the uh, bundles for reproductive rights. We've still got the Itch.io one. It's uh, about 300 titles. $5, so the price has gone down again. Uh, any funds they make will be shared with Planned Parenthood. Uh, as again, I have looked at that bundle and looked at the uh, list of the 300 games. And I will say that uh, like there's four on there worth getting. Um, so if you're willing to spend $5 to get four games that are possibly interesting to you and 200 and some odd other games of various qualities, I will warn everybody again, at least from my personal experience from the two Ichio bundles I've purchased so far, there's a lot of uh, video games on theirs, and those are filled with viruses. Like, every one I tried to open was filled with viruses. So uh, don't buy those bundles if you're trying to just get the cheap video games. Just go on Steam, and because at least you know Steam checks them for viruses, usually. The other bundle is over at drive through Same thing. This one's got uh, around 50 Includes some higher-end games like uh, Chivalry and Sorcery and Mutants and Masterminds. It's $25 currently. It's gone down in price. And all the uh, share of all the funds will go to, again, Planned Parenthood. There's a Dungeon Crawl Classic me Mega Bundle over at Bundle of Holding. It's a collection of Dungeon Crawl Classic adventures. It looks like about uh, 13 of them for twenty dollars and this goes to support the san francisco food banks uh there's two more bundles over at uh bundle of holding from monty cook the first is the 10th anniversary of the cypher system this is uh, 18 dollars for this collection and includes all the things you need to start running cypher system and then we have a patolis bundle of holding this is $18, includes everything you need to run Patolus in both Cypher and 5e. Uh, Patolus or Tolus is uh, Monty Cook's huge mega fantasy sitting setting that was a lot like every other mega fantasy sitting city setting that came out around the time. Um, yeah, so there we go. Humble Bumendal has a Starfinder uh, bundle up. It contains flip maps, alien files, and an adventure called Attack of the Swarm. Uh, so $10 gets you a whole bunch of Starfinder stuff, including a whole bunch of Starfinder stuff that is, you know, insect-related. Uh, Humble Bundle has a uh, video game collection, including Tyranny, Embers, Fields of Glore, and Pathfinder Kingmaker Enhanced Plus Edition. This is uh, $13 for the bundle if you want to get the Pathfinder one. And that goes to support the World Central Kitchen food banks, as does the other Pazio one. Both of these go to support food banks. There is a 3D printable Urban Apocalypse Wasteland printable models bundle featuring hundreds of print to file for miniatures uh, for 3D printers. This is uh, $25, and it goes to support Make-A-Wish. So if you have a 3D printer and want to get some post-apocalyptic modern-day role-playing figures printed out, you could get this bundle for 25 bucks and get a ton of files that you could use to print stuff out. So there we go. That's it for all the bundles, freebies, and sales this week. Again, don't get too excited. Those are all PDFs. Probably the best one is the drive through d d bundle right now because it's got uh, thousands of D, D titles going all the way back to og all the way to 5e some of them are official from wizards some of them are you know from the tsr archives and a lot of them are osr so if any of those sound interesting yeah and that seems to be it about this week's news and what do you know no controversies <laughs> Other than some less than positive reviews about um, Nether Deep and the rules expansion, I would say in regards to Mordekainen, if you don't already have the other books, Tasha's, Xander's, and the previous Mordekainens, get it. You know, between that and the Monster Manual, pretty much have all the current updated monsters in it, or at least a huge selection of them. 
uh, and 32 playable races or something like that. So it definitely fills some holes. If you've already picked up the previous books, either digitally or um, printed, there's no reason to get more to Canaan's because uh, you already have all the information unless you really want to get it just to say I've completed the completion of the complete. Anyways, that's it, because apparently I can't talk this morning. I've been the OGGM, your guide to all tabletop role-playing game news, weather, sports, internet nonsense, and toast, because I'm eating toast. And apparently I need more caffeine. Or a neurologist to look at what's left of my brain. Uh, reminding you again to please help me uh, reach my thousand sub goal by subscribing. And thank you once again to all the men and women and animals of the armed forces who have served our country in keeping us safe from foes both foreign and domestic or whatever. Thank you again, and I will talk to you soon. Rawr, look at me. I'm T-Man, but I'm cute. <laughs>